I want to show you how to thread a piece of pipe. Now this will work for black iron, galvanized, brass, uh, I've even done aluminum pipe. Um, we do this all manually because no, there isn't uh, a very much uh, need for a threading pipe in uh, our field here. So what we have here is a half inch pipe threader, half inch thigh. This is a rigid. It's called an OO-R. It's like a smaller version of the 12 bar, but you can buy these relatively inexpensively or rent them. Or this set I found in a uh, yard sale, so keep your eyes out for them. Now, if you can't find uh, this, it can be rented. Um, First thing I'm going to do is, uh, in my hand, give a little bit of pressure in towards the runner. And that'll get it started. Now, they sell uh, pipe threading uh, oil. I don't, uh, since I hardly do very much threading. And what we do is we just keep winding that on there. Because you can have this not at your local hardware store. Probably at your home center. We'll do it for you. But I've been threading the pipe for a while, so I have stuff to know it. Now, you can rent these. Most of the time we do a lot of threading pipe is when you're going to install a boiler. But every once in a while you want a uh, custom piece of pipe done. Even threading your own pipe can save you a couple trips to the home center or hardware store. Let me need for any works too. I'm using that motor oil. Alright, no pretty good. Spray it a couple of times, keep it lubricated. Alright, I usually take it about to the end. At this point, we'll reverse it. And we need to get it off. And there we have it. A piece of threaded pipe. Okay, at this point, we have our threads on there. But if you look in the sign here, this is way too small of an opening. What we need to do is if you can see that. See how small that is? The next thing we need to know is ream that out. So, here we have our reamer. Okay? And we'll go ahead and ream that out. And open that up. Um, And then I'll open that back up to a half inch. Okay. There you have it. We have threads. 
Then we have a ring knob pipe and open it back up to a half inch. So there, there you have a piece of threaded pipe. So don't forget, put your pipe runner on there. You need to give a little bit of force to get it started. Once it starts, then you can just go ahead and uh, start threading your pipe. When you're done, just turn it, unknow it, and you have your threads. At that point, you ring your hole up, make sure it's uh, open back up to the, uh, the diameter of the pipe, and you have your piece of thread and pipe. So that's how you thread a piece of pipe. This pipe's half inch. Uh, it's relatively easy to thread half inch pipe. Uh, I thread up to like inch and a quarter. That would be if you're installing a boiler. And they have a power threader, which we couldn't use to do this, but I thread such little pipe now because of uh, stainless steel tubing, CSST, that it's very rare that I'm threading pipe. A lot of times I thread it for a custom shower marsh. Uh, I usually use galvanized for that. So it still comes in useful if you have, uh, if you're able to rent a threader. So, okay, now let's say you have um, a threader, but you, you don't have this very expensive pole, the reamer. Well, let's uh, see what else we can do. We'll watch the next video. I'll show you an option. One last thing, let's not forget to have a box of some sort or a bucket or something to catch your filings and your uh, oil that drips off your pipe. So we don't get those all over the place and it's easy to clean up. And it keeps oil off the floor. So always have a box or bucket to catch your filings and oil.